I am, Montag. Master of Illusion. Defier, of the laws of reason. Magician, if you will. But what is a magician? A person who tears asunder your rules of logic? Who, crumbles the rules of reality? So, that you may sit in the safety of your easy chair and say, Oh, what a clever trickster here. What, a sly deceiver. And you lay down on your sleep number bed and go fast asleep. Groovy Gravy will learn of these evil illusions. These psychedelic falsehoods brought on by mind-altering drugs. But, are you certain that, you, dear friend know what reality is? How do, you, know at this second you aren't asleep in your bed dreaming, that, you, are watching this video here? I know, it all seems too real. Well, haven't you ever had a dream that seemed very real? Till you woke up. Then again, how do you know that you did wake up? The rules of what can and cannot be may all be part of one long dream from which you are about to awaken and discover. <laughs> the world as it really is. Join us for the exciting conclusion of Helter Skeletons. I thank you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now what is Tabor going to do? Tabor cannot back out now. Tabor so nervous and afraid. Tabor must do this for Groovy Gravy. Groovy Gravy. Tabor had better deactivate a motion chip before circuit overload. Overload. Too late. Too late. Warning. Tabor circuits overloading. Overloading. <laughs> Nuts and bolts. Tabor accidentally took software dump. Software dump. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Buggy bumpers. Greetings. Tabor the reluctant robot. What brings thee to Queen Felicity's wishy doorstep of? Bye. Do. Please, please, O oh Queen of Darkness. I come in peace. Do not harm Tabor. Tabor was forced to come here. Yes, I know why they are here. I'm just pulling your chain. Please come in. My favorite TV show is about to start. Yeah. You go thing. Do thou like my choice of comedy, Tabor? Yes! Tabor agrees the show is a very funny and bizarre sitcom Queen Felicity. Queen Felicity. Unfortunately, Tabor is starring in his own comedy of errors at the moment. Is that not true? Yes, it is true. Tabor does not know what to do. Tabor is just a pawn in the game of life. Tabor thy has the innocence of a newborn child, but hath the image of a machine. I can tell the force is strong with you. You just need someone to bring you to your full potential. My main goal is to destroy, but just this one time I will have mercy from the crack in my black heart. And if you tell anyone, I'll take your head off and use it for an ashtray. I grant thee a brain, to think clearly. I grant thee a heart, so that thy may feel love. And I grant thee courage, so that thee may fight, and defeat crazy Charlie, and his wicked cohorts. Now, go chew some bubble gum, and kick some ass, Tabor. Wowzers. Tabor feel great. Let me, at him. Let me, at him. I'm gonna mortalize him. We got a family. Meanwhile, at the Wonderland special playroom, me and Groovy are about to turn on, tune in and drop pop rocks and soda pop. And, Probably snort massive quantities of Ajax too if we have time. Wow, Sadie, what is this place? It's far out shit. This glorious place is the Wonderland where all things are possible, bearded dude. Wow. Chicaroni. Me lucky lucky eggs and bakey. When are we gonna partake of the smoke? Oh, bearded dude. We do not do that anymore. Charlie came up with something better. What are you talking about, chick? What's all this talk about weed then? 
Well, Prophet Charlie came up with something really stupendously special. He was feeding the horses one day, and during one of his transcendental meditation trips he discovered he could talk to them and understand them. This particular horse was a genius. He named him Mr. Ed. He talked to him for days dude. He was trying to concoct a formula for a supersonic high so, Mr. Ed told him to feed him buckets and buckets of meat laced with acid dude. He knew he hit upon the right formula when Mr. Ed stood on his hind legs and started running around with a five-foot erection chasing the other chicks with it. Charlie calls it Super Horse. He started to collect and eat his shit and drink his piss for a nuclear high. That tea you drank earlier had the Super Horse formula in it. You may not drink horse piss chick. Oh, yeah. I think it's better than his other formula of a VIX 44 cough syrup enema. This new formula is Charlie's Super Horse Nest Tea Plunge. Man, I think the only thing this is going to do is make me lose my lunch. I don't feel nothing. Three. Nope, not a thing. Two. Man, this is a waste of time. One. Blast off. Oh well. The rain, in Spain, falls mainly on the plain. Oh my gosh, chick. What's happening to me, 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 me? Oh yes, bearded dude. Just relax and go with it, dude. This is one ride you're not going to forget. Sadie has already partaken of the holy juice. I will be your naughty stewardess on your wild trip. It nilly me, it nilly me, teeg nilly me, xa. Wow ho. Oh wow man, the colors I can chase, the colors. Red hearts. <laughs> Yellow moons. <laughs> Orange stars. <laughs> Green clovers <laughs> and blue diamonds. <laughs> I'm so lucky. This is far, far out, dude. Let's go for a ride, bearded dude. Fighters for truth, justice, and chicks and weed. We are Rat Fink and Boo Boo. But we only have one weakness. What's that, Rat Fink? Bullets. Are you ready, Potheads? Red Eyes Captain. Oh. Who lives at a spawn branch with Crazy Charlie? Sponge Chick Sadie. Who's a whore, and yellow and maybe have an STD? Sponge Chick Sadie. If drug up piss and shit is something you wish from a horse, then drop on the deck and flop like a corpse. Ready? Sponge Chick Sadie. Sponge Chick Sadie. Sponge Chick Sadie. Driving okay, man. I think we're parked, man. Can I see your license, sir? Where's your license? Isn't it back there on the bumper, man? Oh, where am I? To bore and groovy at a restaurant and bar called Charlie's Place. Charlie's Place. You had to bore worried. You fell off the curb and hit your head while bending over to pick up a penny that was heads up. You said it was lucky. Lucky. Tabor took Groovy in here to recover. To recover. Are you alright, Groovy? Oh, why man. It was only a dream. Thank goodness. Oh yeah. It's a dream. It's your continuing real life nightmare. Welcome to Hell Groovy. You get to do this over, and over, and over, and over, and over, and over, infinity. You big dummy. Oh, well. I guess I have start getting used to the taste of horse piss, I guess, red dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's all skinwalkers.